again, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Inside Cowboy Football with Head McNeese Football Coach Lance Gidry. And with Coach Gidry, I'm Ron Hayes, your host tonight. And Coach, uh, homecoming week was quite a success for the Cowboys, don't you think? It was. We had a we had a busy week. Uh, ended with the football game, and, uh, and the Cowboys played well enough to win. That's for sure. Coach, you had uh, we say this every year. You had a lot of distractions, but apparently they didn't overcome the Cowboys' passion to win the ball game. Yeah, you know we. Uh, and went to eat at, the, eat at the president's house, I should say, and then uh, also you have the parade and you got the pep rally. And but you know our our kids were really geared in and focused in, I should say, on the uh, the game and the task at hand. And uh, it was exciting to see them play out there for sure. I think you even had some of your seniors riding a float during the parade. We did. You? We had some seniors riding a float, and our secretary, Miss Nancy, rode with them. There and you go. we had somebody controlling the music, make sure that the the music was edited correctly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they had a good time on the float. No, it ended with the, of course, with the uh, pep rally that night. So, uh, just a good week. Big week. Big week. Big week. Thank you, Coach. Fans, stay with us. We're going to take a look at it, show you some uh, highlights, and uh, talk about it right after this break. Inside Cowboy Football would like to thank the 2017 show sponsors. Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. So there's no cars in this commercial, but we're not going to talk about cars. We're going to talk about an experience. I think it's safe to say that people's expectations of their customer experience these days is pretty low. But you're about to spend your hard-earned money, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of it. Don't settle for being treated like you're worth less than that. Expect a red carpet experience, not the same old shady salesman or bully manager or long hold times you're used to. All you have to do is raise your expectations and then look around and see who's left to choose from. in for a chance to win this month at Delta Downs. This November, you could win up to $5,000 cash when you play jockeying for cash, only at Delta Downs. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. Well, Coach, let's go out to Cowboy Stadium and celebrate a little homecoming, what you say? <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, oh somebody's barbecuing. Ah, oh, there's some of the seniors. The parade, yep. They dancing. Doing that thing. Throwing some beads. Nice crowd. We were there. We took our granddaughters out there to watch the uh, parade go by, and it was quite a show. They fried some fish or something right there. We had a band. <laughs> look at this. These cats are ready. They're huh? having fun. Oh, look like somebody got a pig. Ooh, the food, Coach. They making some crackers? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Now it's football time. Cowboys are getting ready. They're swagging. There Pretty day for football. Yeah, it was. It was a rain had stopped. It was really nice. Uh, this wasn't there. good. This was the worst thing about it, huh? This, this is the only score they got, off. Coach. Missed a tackle right there. A couple guys on the ground. Look out. Look out. And he's gone. Yeah. They had a chance at him right here, too. Kyrie missed him. And uh, wish he'd have got him out right there. So he got seven points right off the bat. It's 96 not a, yards. Not a good way to start, for sure. No. They excited. So 14-48 into the ball game. They got the touchdown. Offense got the ball, of course. Uh, guess we're going to punt right here. Nobody was open. Third and long. All the pageantry of college football. We go playing some good defense early on. We're going to force them to punt here in a little bit and uh, take pride on, on stopping the run, of course. Get the ball back. Uh, good throw and catch right here, of course. The Wayne Ross. 
I think he finished the night with almost 100 yards receiving. Five catches, I think, Coach. Yeah. Here goes the little man. Helmet came off his head, then the fumble, which was the big debate what would happen when a helmet comes off, it's a dead ball. Uh, everything's supposed to stop. And, uh, you know, good effort by Tavares Batiste right here, uh, getting the guy down. And uh, it's going to be coming back. Hmm. A little discussion if this was got together. So we kick a field goal. So it could have been really bad. It could have been 14 nut, you know. Yep. Had yep. a turnover right there, but it went our way. So it's 7-3, and now things are going to change very quickly. This is all in the first quarter now, fans. Here we go. Here's a pick six. Look at this. Kalem Foster gets in the end zone. Everybody's really smart and not clipping, so it like Forrest Gump running out the back of the end zone. <laughs> going through the tunnel, huh, Coach? 42 yards. Oh, that boy was Big excited. six for the Cowboys. <laughs> Everybody's pumped up now, yeah. Coach. Everybody. Cheerleaders, uh, band, everybody. 428 so, to go in the first quarter, and Cowboys on top. And we go back on defense, and we get another pick six. Well, why not? Great read on the play, Kobe Burt, and Dominique's very smart, not clipping. Uh, so now we got two. 51-yard touchdown reception here, Coach. Yes, sir. Two on the night, but you're not through. Not through, but the offense was, you know, we were down 7-0. Uh, they go on the field, go one snap, get a field goal, and then next time they come on, we're up 10 points. Uh, good play right there on third down by Kobe Burton again. So offense has got the ball back. Uh, got a tip ball. There's Poche. There he is, Sack David Poche, Poche. David Poche. That's it. And good defense again. Michael Uday, who's who's uh, replaced, of course, uh, Chris Livens on the year. So we have 17-7 right here, and uh, good hit. Boom! Ooh. You know, best thing about that is he didn't lead with his head. He didn't launch, so we didn't get any flags. Uh, good defense here again. Got our third pick of the night right here by Andre Fuller. Good play by B.J. Blunt. Thought B.J. Blunt was going to pick that thing, so... Right now, we got three on the night. A uh, good run by LeWayne. Kind of doing it on his own. Uh, reverses the field. Good play by LeWayne. He goes from a receiver to a running back on the same Very play, Very quickly. Coach. Very quickly. Cowboys starting to dominate now. Good throw and catch right here. Look at this. LeWayne Ross again. Look at the big man go. Yeah. He is yeah. the X factor. <laughs> he I definitely guess. gets us going. Yes, he does. Good job by Ken right here, getting the end zone. Great run. Great run by Ken. Nice cut back. There it is. Hmm. <laughs> so we get in on a sneak, quarterback sneak. Cowboys are moving now. Offense, defense. There goes the cannon. There they are. 32 times they fired that Cameron last Ooh. night, Coach. 32 times. It's a lot of fire. What? 24 said we'd work this play all week, the screen play. They gave it away out of a formation. So, uh, really, really good. A little bit of clouds, a little bit of light. The way there. The game the didn't stop. Yeah. LSU, they caught it off right there. Yeah. <laughs> we found good that run, out. Kyron Sutton. Kind of doing it on his own. Look at him fight. Yes, sir. Playing hard. Going to need a lot of that come next week. Went for it on fourth down, a little high, through an interception, and uh, in the end zone. So we come back on defense. Here we go. More blue hats to the ball. Coach, are they showing this at, at practice? Do they show this kind of passion in your defense? Yes. It's, the I mean, way we, it's the way we practice. They we practice play hard. flat out, man. You pedal to the metal and all of that. Yeah. Look at this. Playing Stand hard, up. getting a lot of people to playing angry. Yeah. With attitude. With attitude. Yeah. Yeah, they look like a rugby contest right there. The offensive line got behind their runners. So we finished at the half, 24-7. First quarter lasted a long time, it seemed like. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're going half, feeling good, 24-7. Cowboys are where they wanted to be at halftime, Coach. Yeah, got two scores on defense and uh, feeling really good. All right, we're going to show you the second half right after this ball. At Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. 
game time. It's time for Market Basket Smokehouse Sausage and Boudin. Tailgating at the big game or grilling on the patio before kickoff, Market Basket Smokehouse is your winning team. We make all our sausage and boudin in-store with seven unique blends of sausage and five award-winning boudin recipes. And remember Market Basket Party Trays from the Bakery Deli and Fresh Fruit of Veggie Trays, perfect for pre-game appetizers. Market Basket and Market Basket Smokehouse, the winning team. Folks in southwest Louisiana demand a dependable truck. And the Chevy Silverado is the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size truck on the road over the last 30 years. Plus, the 2017 J.D. Power Dependability Study confirms Chevrolet is the number one domestic brand with full-size trucks, while Ford and Ram are dead last. So for the most dependable full-size truck, check out the 2017 Chevy Silverado today at your Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Gallop in for a chance to win this month at Delta Downs. This November, you could win up to $5,000 cash when you play jockeying for cash, only at Delta Downs. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. Coach, of course, halftime, you got to have the homecoming court presented. Cowboys and the cowgirls yeah. did exactly that. Sure did. Nice-looking court, young men, young ladies. Second half. Got a little reverse called right here. Beautiful design play. We just need to get past the kicker. Jeez. Kicker makes the play. I guess they had to tackle him anyway. Good field position. Goes David Ham. Oh, look at this. See That's ya. pretty. That's the way to start it. See ya. Ham had a great night, Coach. He did. He had 92 yards on 11 carries, and that was his best carry of the night. That was good. It's a way to come out in, in the uh, second half and start it off early. Well, your running backs have responded well the last few games. They have. They have. All right, 31 7. Cowboys up. 13 minutes to go in the. Now we're going to start quarter. kicking the ball all kind of ways. Look, they don't know how to feel that thing. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Good hit Hello. by Josh Washington, senior. Hello. Now, why are they seeing the different kicks on the kickoff, coach? Nah, to... Because we can't place it where we want it, and it's hurting our coverage. All right. So, I get the ball back to the offense, and here goes Justin Pratt. Motoring that little body. Look at him go. Had a hard time keeping his helmet on. I was going to say, early in the ball game, he lost yeah. it about three times. I think he got too much hair on his chin. The chin strap keeps coming. Oh, what a great <laughs> catch right here. How about here. that? That's high point in the ball right there. It's a great catch. He just went up and got it, Coach. There's Crowley. He's happy. We go good. Uh, good job right here. Yeah, got it off. There's little man. There he is. Score for the Cowboys, Justin Pratt. Don't get very excited. That's about the most emotion I've ever seen him right there. He's business. He's, He's doing business. business guy. I'm telling you. He has stitches all across his forehead. Well, here we go. Dominic Hill. Great play. Here we go. Looks like the play against Lamar when we stripped the ball. Another pick six for the Cowboys. That's three. Now we got three of them, so. I thought that was a lot, three. It's never happened in McNeese before. Yeah. But you're not through yet. Not yet. Here's a good throw and catch by them. God, we had a chance at that ball right there. That was the biggest play of the game uh, for them, of course. It was a big reception. Uh, good blitz right here by Darian Dunn. A host of people. So, still playing really, really fast. Just oh, a slide breeze. Picture. Isn't it gorgeous? A oh, slide nice. breeze at that point. Here's a good run. Good blocking right here. Nick Edwards. Going into fourth quarter. That's right. Fourth quarter, 45 7, Cowboys. And oh, this Cowboys. is the, this is well, no, this is a. Uh, we could have got that one. It was close. I think Eric Jones could have got that one. It was close. But, you know, Joe Lasar getting a lot of snaps. That was kind of nice getting to see some of the, yes. uh, the other folks come off the bench and play for the Cowboys. We got a lot of people into the game. Just about everybody on the sideline got in, so. Good. That was good. You like that, don't you? Give oh, these I love guys it. Some experience. I love it. Here's the last pick six right here. Marcus Foster. Number four. Yeah. That ties the NCAA record and the Southland Conference record. Yeah. Both pick sixes in a ball game. Yeah. Well, one more would have been nice. One more would have been nice, yes. Yeah. Five uh, teams in the history of college football. Only five. We're one of the five now. Pretty select company. Here's another good squib and goes into the end zone. 
He's having trouble. Yeah. He almost had a bunch of trouble there. Mm -hmm. And I think we're done, Coach. Yeah, Coach Keenan said, that's three. Y'all had three. I said, no, Coach, that was four. Four, Coach, four. <laughs> he looked like he was happy for us. <laughs> well, yeah, he was congratulating. Uh -huh. All right, fans, stay with us. We're going to have player interviews, talk about stats, and review the upcoming ball game for the Cowboys right after this ball. At Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. So there's no cars in this commercial, but we're not going to talk about cars. We're going to talk about an experience. I think it's safe to say that people's expectations of their customer experience these days is pretty low. But you're about to spend your hard-earned money, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of it. Don't settle for being treated like you're worth less than that. Expect a red carpet experience, not the same old shady salesman or bully manager or long hold times you're used to. All you have to do is raise your expectations and then look around and see who's left to choose from. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. Gallop in for a chance to win this month at Delta Downs. This November, you could win up to $5,000 cash when you play jockeying for cash, only at Delta Downs. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. Coach Lance Guidry, how about the final stats one more time, buddy? 55-7. I love the, it. That's the biggest stat. I love it. Of course, we had 21 first downs. Uh, they had six. Uh, we had 157 yards rushing. They had 84. Uh, we had 321 yards passing. They only had 65. So total offense, we had 478 there, 149. Uh, penalties, we had nine. They had four. Time of possession, we had a lot more than them. Third down conversion is probably our best stat beside the few first downs they had. We were 5 of 15 on third down, which is not good uh, for us. We need to be higher. And, of course, uh, they only had 1 of 15. Incredible. So. Turnovers Incredible. five to one, and we know four of them at the touchdowns. We were four or five in the red zone, and they had none. So big win for the Cowboys. Let's see what the Cowboy players had to say after the victory. Overall, I, I think we did pretty decent. I thought we could have done a lot better. Uh, my expectations for the offense is really high, so um, I'm a little down on, on our performance tonight. But uh, you know, it, it's always about the victory, and, and no matter if we won by one point or a hundred, uh, yeah, wins a win. Coach called the the right play for us to work and. Uh, we just didn't execute as a team, and we started off a little slow. I don't know why, but it just happened like that. We had plays where we caught some good balls or ran good plays, and it either got called back or we had a penalty. But, I mean, you know, just keep fighting and just keep your head up and continue to work. I feel like we played really fast tonight. We, we knew what we was doing mentally coming into the game. I mean, uh, we prepared. We prepared for uh, each and every scenario, different formations that we thought they would get in, different formations that they run. So, I mean, we played really, really well tonight and fast. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was the bye week or I don't know what it was, but I mean, I'm glad we did get this game out of the way because coming off that bye week, it felt like it's been a while since we played football. Go back to the way the defense played, really. Um, I mean, four defensive touchdowns got us up. and um, But it was great to, uh, to get out there and play Pretty, uh, quite a bit of the second half tonight. So we always play well against Central Arkansas. It's always a big game when we play them, no matter what. We're going to get their best. They're going to get our best. So them being ranked high and us knowing that it's for who's going to take the lead of the conference, well, it just makes it that much bigger. Honestly, they blew us out last year, 35 nothing. So we're definitely looking for revenge. And we're going to make sure we do everything we can to make that one of our best games of the season. Yeah, it is a big game, but uh, you know, if if we do our job both offensively and defensively, I think we'll definitely come out on top. And you know, that's how we got to think. If we, if we do our job and nothing more than that, I think we'll we'll be just fine. Well, coach, it didn't take long for the kids to start looking forward to the Central Arkansas game from the comments I was just hearing. Huh? Sure, they knew that this was a business type game. Some people call it a trap game, but I never thought it was. We take it uh, one day at a time. Uh, we take it one game at a time. But now this is the game we kind of been waiting for. 
Uh, it's time to talk about it. Of course, last year they embarrassed us 35 to nothing, and uh, and I think our players, you know, want to go out there and then try to get that back. You know, I'm not saying we're gonna come back and beat them 35 to nothing, but it's definitely a game we had circled on our schedule, and uh, we are their homecoming. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but first we want to go with a coach, our assistant coach interview of the week, and that is Wayne Cordova. Wayne Cordova is the director of football operations here at McNeese. Let's go see what he had to share with us. We're here today with our assistant coach guest from McNeese State's coaching staff, and that's Wayne Cordova. Coach Cordova has been here at McNeese. In fact, this is your first year at McNeese as a coach, yes, right? Yes, it is. It's first year. Started in March, March 1st. Okay, but you've been here as a player. I was. Uh, started here in 1996, okay. finished in 99. Okay, you had some pretty glorious years, though, back in those days. We did all right back then. Yeah, you, you particularly teams. did all right, though. You were Defensive Player of the Year. You yes, had a couple sir. of Southland Conference championships. Yes, sir. Uh, had some, some personal success and goes along with playing on good football teams. Okay. Your responsibility right now at McNeese, your Director of Football Operations. Yes, sir. Define the scope of that job. That's a tough one. Uh, well, it kind of, I would say, uh, relates to anything that doesn't involve on the field um, coaching duties. Anything that's off the field, that's my responsibility. That falls into my bucket. Anything that's off the field, you're talking about like, uh, oh, study hall, tutors, and all that kind of study stuff? Study hall, well? tutoring, that would be Coach uh, Dennis Smith. Okay. But uh, as far as travel, um, dorms, and things of that nature, that would fall into my bucket. Anything that's dealing with logistics. What's the biggest challenge you've had so far? Uh, the biggest challenge? Uh, we haven't had too many challenges at McNeese. Uh, People tend to work together. Okay. Uh, Tanner Steins, Lakin, uh, and Jaron, all of those guys helped me in such a way where there's really no challenges involved. Would it be, well, would, would an example of that be like uh, arranging a trip to Abilene, Texas? Would that be a, well, a, a big challenge? Let me that, put it that way. That could be a big challenge, but uh, the people I just mentioned, they do such a great job of helping and uh, making it a lot easier for me so I can be able to help coach the Buck safety. Now tell me about that. Buck safeties. That's Why do a, they call it buck safeties? Because it's a nickel. It's a nickel back. Uh, back in the days, we used to call them a strong safety when Coach Gidry played. Okay. Uh, but uh, we, it's, it's a nickel back. It's a, a cornerback and um, kind of a hybrid. So they gave it a special name. What's the responsibility of a buck safety in the Cowboy defense? To uh, force the run from outside in. Uh, also to uh, protect the curl flat area. Uh, they do a good job. Uh, we, we actually have a senior uh, by the name of uh, Dominique Hill that's oh, been yeah. starting for about four years. Yeah. So he makes my job a lot easier. Um, you make sure he's healthy and, 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 and yes. has the uniform, the right uniform on, and that's it. Huh? And that's it, and just fall back and uh, let him go to work. Good. Well, good luck to you and the Cowboys and the, the football operations and the buck safety responsibilities, and y'all having quite the year. Yes, sir, we are, and wish we continue. Good. Thank you very much. Wayne Cardova, chief or uh, coach of football <laughs> operations here at McNeese State University. Coach, he's a very humble guy. Very humble. Wayne does a great job. Uh, Wayne, of course, handles everything that's behind the scenes with me as the head coach for his itineraries, um, for his day-to-day -day practice schedules. He's involved in recruiting. He's involved in a lot of different things that takes the pressure off of me so I can be the defensive coordinator. Uh, there's no way I could be a defensive coordinator and the head coach. Uh, Wayne also coaches, of course, the Buck safety, which is a nickel. Um, he did a great job, especially with Dominique being hurt and Josh Washington, of really getting Corey McCoy up to speed so that our defense didn't suffer. Uh, doing a great job, and I'm um, really, really glad that he's here and he's back. Of course, he's very humble. He was a great linebacker here. He played with Coach A. Rowe when we played for the national championship in 97. All right. Nice guy. Stay with us, fans. We're going to be back. We'll be talking about Central Arkansas right after this break. At Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. So there's no cars in this commercial, but we're not going to talk about cars. We're going to talk about an experience. I think it's safe to say that people's expectations of their customer experience these days is pretty low. But you're about to spend your hard-earned money, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of it. Don't settle for being treated like you're worth less than that. Expect a red carpet experience, not the same old shady salesman or bully manager or long hold times you're used to. All you have to do is raise your expectations and then look around and see who's left to choose from. Here's the places. 
These are the people. They are courteous, attentive, knowledgeable, in a word, professionals. So great prices, great products, awesome people. This combination is the reason Southwest Louisiana has voted Pompelli Tire the number one tire store year after year. We're honored and thankful, and our pledge to you is your continued satisfaction. Pompelli Tire, Ruth Street in Sulphur, Ryan Street, Lake Charles. in for a chance to win this month at Delta Downs. This November, you could win up to $5,000 cash when you play jockeying for cash, only at Delta Downs. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. Well, Coach, I guess it's uh, time to put homecoming and festivities and all of that pick sixes and all yeah. that stuff behind us because we got business this weekend. Yeah, big time game. Uh, been having it circled on our schedule uh, since the off season. Um, you know, we got beat last year, 35 to nothing. Really good football team. It was a real good football team last year. Of course, we wasn't a very good team last year. We were average, you know, for in my standards. But, uh, you know, it's going to be tough up there. Um, got a really good quarterback. He's a junior. Uh, offensive line is massive. Tight end is really, really big. Great wide receivers. Running back runs really, really hard. And their defense it starts up front. Uh, in my opinion, they have the most talent on defense. Um, they played in some big games already this year, so statistically they're not as, you know, rated as high as us, but very, very good defense. Defensive coordinator does a great job, so we got a tall task. It's going to have to be an entire team effort, and, uh, you know, it's arguably could be for the conference championship. They have no losses in conference right now. Coach, what is the secret to their offense? Are they running? Are they pass-oriented, 50-50? They're 50-50. They're going to try and run the football, but if you sell out and play the run, they're going to throw play-action pass, and they're going to try and go downfield with the football. So uh, I expect them to throw the ball down the field and try to make some big plays on us. You know, here recently, nobody has been able to do that, but early in the season, people got us. So I expect them to try and go downtown, so say, on us. And offensively, we're going to have to play our best game of the year to get this job done because they are the best team in the conference. Didn't they hang the only loss on Sam Houston? They did. They beat Sam okay. Houston. And uh, they played Kansas State really well at the beginning of the year. So I thought they were the best team last year, but they didn't play well against Sam. Uh, got a lot of respect for their coach. And, uh, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a hard-fought game. Well, two things we know, fans, about Saturday night. It's going to be cold up there. We're here in low 40s, so for the first time this year, we'll feel like it's a football weather. And the, the, the looking at the field will drive you crazy because the color of that field gives me headaches mm -hmm. just thinking about it, Coach. But good luck to you and the Cowboys, and we're going to be with you all the way. All right. See you. All right. We'll be back with you next week with more Inside Cowboy Football with Head Coach Lance Giffey. This is Ron Hayes on behalf of Lance Gidry and the Athletic Department thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.